Hello everyone, it's Shurabro back with the another video. We're going to be taking on another technical kind of a level of video where we actually talk about the API. And this time we're actually talking about the API that will get all of the projects from your instance. Now, Probably if you were looking at the documentation from the Atlassian for the API REST API version 3, you would see that the get all projects basically is not going to work because that, uh, that call, that API call has been deprecated. But there is, of course, a uh, already existing REST API version 2. I would recommend to actually use that because you will have more options for it. So, uh, I'm going to be showing how to get all of the projects as well. Maybe I'm going to run through how to get all of the boards as well because that is something that m you might be interested in. And But the thing is, um, you don't want to actually have all of the all of the lookings and everything imagine you have if you had like 100 projects and you have to go through uh through like I don't know five to ten pages that that's a lot all right so the endpoint starts from here so it's the get method and it starts from here with a slash rest slash API slash two slash project. And also with this uh, API call, it will allow you to actually see what are the IDs of each of these projects. Now, um, this, um, this thing that I have here, this is something that uh, community leaders can get uh, by requesting a well basically a new environment that you can actually work on it's actually pretty great because it comes with the predefined uh, projects also predefined users predefined uh, issues a lot of great stuff actually in in there so the another thing that you also have to remember you need to be uh, using your authorization for your um, username, you're going to be using your email address for your password, you're going to be using your uh, Atlassian API token. Now, I have everything set, I'm actually using this with the postman, so if I click on send right here, it's going to be sending the request, and we're also going to get our response right here so this is the response and the very first thing that I'm actually interested in here so this right here the ending this defines your project ID and as you can see for the name it's gonna say this is going to be the name of the project and as you can see this is defined even better where the ID has been selected uh, also, it gives like what is the project category and what is the what is the ID of that certain project category. And also you have for the another project, this is the ID of a project, this is the key of the project, and this is the actual name of the project. So if you scroll down a bit, this is the ID of it, this is the key, and this is the name of the project for a project category also it defines the ID of the project category so and also there is the project type key where it says business uh, so when it says business it's the actual work management management project in here it says the uh, this is the service desk which means that this one is the service management type of a project uh, also, this one is a service desk. 
So it means it's also a service management project. So with this API, you can get a lot of interesting information that you can actually uh, use. So uh, there is actually a lot of power with uh, with this REST, uh, REST API, which is actually the version two of it. But of course, a lot of times you're gonna you're gonna be seeing there is uh, actually other REST API. For example, for the reference, I have this one, REST API, and uh, this REST API is kind of a, kind of a different one. So this is for the Jira Software Cloud because you also have the Jira Platform Cloud. So that is that is, is something as well. So for example, for the boards, it's almost uh, the same thing. So first, let me clear the response here. If I call the response once more, and this is for getting uh, getting the boards. And there are I, there are like a lot of interesting boards in here. It um, what is the display name of the board? What is what what is the location of the board? What is the type of a board as well? So project type key. What type of a project actually is this? So and what is the name of the board? What is the type of a board? And also another interesting thing that also it gives you here is the board ID itself. So this is actually pretty, pretty handy if you actually want to do some kind of operations with those boards. It could be like changing something with the, within those boards, for example, like updating the uh, filter. But for that, you would actually need to use the filter ID. So yeah, so this is all about the getting all of the projects and getting all of the boards and also defining and getting the IDs for each of these responses, which I believe it's really, really useful that you can actually leverage for your either integrations, if you're uh, using and if you want to build a Forge app yourself. So that is actually an interesting thing. Yeah, uh, that is everything that I wanted to say about this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the uh, channel as well. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye.